Be alone. That is the secret of invention. Be alone. That is when ideas are born. We all make mistakes, and it is better to make them before we begin. Our virtues and our failings are inseparable, like force and matter. When they separate, man is no more. I don't care that they stole my idea. I care that they don't have any of their own. I could only achieve success in my life through self-discipline and I applied it until my wish and my will became one. Great moments are born, great opportunity. It's not the love you make, it's the love you give. When wireless is fully applied, the earth will be converted into a huge brain capable of response in every one of its parts. Peace can only come as a natural consequence of universal enlightenment. Inventors don't have time for married life. A new idea must not be judged by its immediate results. Our entire biological system, the brain and the earth itself, work on the same frequencies. The Buddhist expresses it in one way, the Christian in another, but both say the same. We are all one. Each day we go to our work in the hope of discovering, to know each other, we must reach beyond the sphere of our sense perceptions. A man is born to work, to suffer and to fight. He who doesn't must perish. In the 21st century, the robot will take the place which slave labor occupied in ancient civilization. Nature may reach the same result in many ways. We are all one. People are interconnected by invisible forces. Although we have the freedom to think and act, we stick together like stars on the heavenly arc with unbreakable connections. These connections cannot be seen, but we can feel them. The opinion of the world does not affect me. I have placed as the real values in my life what follows when I am dead. Every effort under compulsion demands a sacrifice of energy. I never paid such a price. If your hate could be turned into electricity, it would light up the whole world. We crave for new sensations, but soon become indifferent to them. The wonders of yesterday are today common occurrences. If you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. My brain is only a receiver in the universe. There is a core from which we obtain knowledge, strength, and inspiration. What one man calls God, another calls the laws of physics. Most persons are so absorbed in the contemplation of the outside world that they are wholly oblivious to what is passing on within themselves. As I review the events of my past life, I realize how subtle are the influences that shape our destinies. The
progressive development of man is vitally dependent on invention. Let the future tell the truth and evaluate each one according to his work and accomplishments. The present is theirs. The future for which I have really worked is mine. Of all things measured, man is the most difficult to measure. Everyone should consider his body as a priceless gift from one whom he loves above all.